hey guys welcome back now in today's video we are going to be working with writing json so this is i think the fifth video in the rust playlist for 50 rust projects so in the previous video we did uh, rust json read today we'll do write so just want to tell you that all of these projects are on github uh, and the next three projects also that we'll be doing uh, making a get request and then an async request and then a complete api call all of these uh, are also on GitHub. So make sure you follow me, Akil Sharma 90 on GitHub. Uh, you'll find all of the projects here, even the earlier ones like Rust CSV and Compress, Decompress, all of that. It's also here. Okay. So what we'll do now is we will um, start working with the project. Uh, like you said, like, like you just noticed, I've already built the project for you guys and I've already pushed it here. Okay. So, so you don't really have to worry if you if it doesn't work for you guys. Just compare the code and it'll it'll be fine. Okay. Uh, here, what we'll say now is we'll say cargo new and JSON write, but for YT, which is YouTube, and I will cd into it. So I'll say JSON write YT, and I will open this up with my code editor which is VS code. Okay. So we have to do something in the cargo.toml file and then we have to do something in the main.rs file. So in the cargo.toml file, the exact same dependency we had in the previous project, which is serialization, digitalization, JSON version 1.0. And we need features for derivation. So derive features, get uh, like, make sure your a toml file looks like this and uh, the main change that's going to be out here is going to be that in the in the previous uh, project we did from string for for survey json i'm calling it survey which is serialization digitalization it's too much to speak so i'm just calling it survey so for survey um, we used the from string method to, and today in this video we're going to use the to string method so we'll create us we'll create same similarly to structs that we created and we'll create a complete instance of the article struct with you know the article name and author and paragraph all, all those paragraphs but they will all be in the rust structs format and then we'll uh, you know convert that into json basically today write json so we want to write json we don't want to read json as something that we've already done so i'll just get rid of all of this and i'll say the same things use surdy and I will get deserialize and serialize. Make sure the D and S here are capital. Then I'll say derive, serialize, and I'm, I'm selecting that ex the exact thing. Uh, serialize and deserialize. Okay. Close this off in these square brackets. And here you'll, just like last time, we'll create a struct for paragraph. It's going to have a name, which is string. Same thing, we'll say derive and close this off in these square brackets and serialize, come on, deserialize. Now, even, even though all of this code is same from the previous project, like this zero change, right? All of this part is still exactly the same. I would still recommend that you type all of this out on your own from scratch. Don't copy and paste and don't just assume that you know already know all of this. Uh, type all of this out. It will build muscle memory. You'll get used to the syntax and, you know, and then you'll build intuition. So sometimes some somewhere you get stuck while building a project and then but you have intuition at the back of your mind you know that you know this looks wrong or this looks right and then you can fix a lot of issues without problems okay just like we had it last time vector uh, almost like slices we have in golang we have slices where we can have multiple paragraphs right multiple paragraphs similarly we have vectors here and paragraph is a field, but this is a collection of paragraphs, which is basically a struct. Okay. 
and then you have the main function just like golang you have out there you have func main here you have fn main and let article article is the variable whereas article is the struct and then you will define the struct properly and this article struct needs to have these three fields we know that wherein this field is going to be a collection of basically these fields so here uh, we'll say article and string from how to work with json in rust okay author is string from akhil and paragraph is now vectors so let's create that vector vector which is going to be basically an array of objects so here we'll say paragraph first sentence so here what's happening is that uh, we're creating a collection of these paragraphs right so there's an array uh, so there's like this bracket which is array of multiple objects and each object uh, is basically a paragraph and paragraph is actually a struct which has name string form so I'm, I'm, I'm using words like array of objects but that's basically if you're from a javascript background it's only for that otherwise <laughs> you just need to remember it's a, it's a vector and it has multiple structs it's a collection of multiple structs okay paragraph and then you have name string from body of paragraph then again you have a paragraph name string from Paragraph. All right. Here you're supposed to put a semicolon, and uh, now all the magic happens in just one line. So there's just one line that does all the magic for us. So we have to use survey, which is serialization, deserialization, JSON, and in the previous video we used from string, and here we're just saying to string. And then ampersand article, you're passing article with, with a small a, which is this whole, this variable, which has the whole article here. So you're passing that article here, and then you'll say unwrap dot unwrap and println. The JSON is come on, JSON. All right, so this is it. Actually, this is the entire entire code. Uh, it's just around 30 lines because with the, these spaces and brackets, it's 35 or around less than 30 lines code. Uh, and essentially, everything is happening in just this one line where you know you, you've understood how to work with the survey package and you can write JSON now, uh, even using these kind of structs in, in Rust. So all we'll do now is we will go ahead and just run this. So we'll say cargo run. Now we, we might get some errors or things will work or not work. So depending on that, we'll fix things in case they require our attention. Yeah. So here it says expected one. So where, which line is it? This is here the, the first line so instead of user I've, I've made a typo small typo it's use and now I think it should work okay one more small issue out here is that there should be two of these colons right so it will uh, the, the thing with rust is I mean you don't have to worry too much while coding while actually writing the code because it'll tell you exactly where the issue is and what the issue is and how to fix it, okay? 
so again, see, I, I'm I'm being a complete dumbass, and I've made like I've put so many errors, typos, and all of that issues, you know. But still, it will tell me that uh, you know you're supposed to put a comma here. It's so expected a comma. You, I mean, it's like another human being sitting with you and like you know, hitting you on the head, and 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 telling you uh, that there needs to be a comma here. Right, so you, you can be complete. You can be complete dumbass with Rust, and it'll it'll guide you how to write the correct code. Put a put a comma here. So this I, so this is the reason why it's the most uh, most loved programming language ever, not ever, but at least four years in a row. This is the reason you get everything. Everything is done for you. So. It runs the program for you and you get the JSON. The JSON is, and this is the entire JSON. So you get the whole thing that you just created, the whole struct that you just created in a nice JSON format. So this was it. This was today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. We have worked how to read JSON, how to write JSON. So, so what does that remind you? That reminds you of request and response, right? So whenever there's an API, whenever you build an API, you will have a request and a response. So request. Uh, you will get in a JSON format. So we'll, we'll have to read that request. And when you want to say something back to the user, you know, you're going to send a response, that'll again have to be in JSON. Can't be a struct, a rust struct, right? So you need to ha you needed to have both of these skills, reading and writing JSON. I hope you understand how important this is and how I am breaking it down into very small chunks so that you understand the whole, uh, like all of these individual uh, things before we actually build up a huge project which is which might get really complex okay so I hope you have subscribed to my channel if you haven't you need to you get such awesome content and value so thanks a lot for watching I'll see you in the next video